I served an LDS mission to the Belgium Antwerp mission and uh, just one of the greatest experiences of my life and met some of the most genuine wonderful people. As a missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ, uh, you, if you're raised in the church, you look forward to the time that you can share the message of the gospel with other people. And so was I. Um, for missions, uh, mostly it, it, it was at my time that young men went, but I felt like that that was something that I wanted to do. Growing up, I'd heard so many wonderful stories about missionaries and finding people that were searching for the truth. In fact, um, you quite often hear the story about that the person that was searching for um, the truth or the right church would see in a dream um, a day or two before the missionaries knocked on their door the face of one of the missionaries. And so I'd heard this a lot. And, you know, you always hope that as you share the gospel that um, there's someone that is actually seeking to hear the gospel right from you. And so it was with me. I entered the MTC and began to learn Dutch, which was quite a delight. Not. Uh, it was very difficult for me. And I felt like I really was struggling with the language. But I tried and I was told in a priesthood blessing that I would eventually have the ability to speak the Flemish language. So I held on to that very dearly. Now, when I arrived in Belgium, I was assigned an older sister missionary that had been there and knew the language very well. And the sister that I had, her name was Sister Hook, and just a wonderful person. Anyway, one of the things that you would do is you would go and knock on doors, go in certain areas and knock and try to find people that would like to take just a moment and hear your message. I was so excited to do this. I couldn't wait to go out and share the gospel, but I didn't understand anything of Dutch. The little bit word, the little words that I learned in the MTC were spoken by Americans. And so when we got to Belgium and they were speaking Flemish, I could not pick out anything, but I wanted to go. So I memorized a little what they call a door approach. And you'd say, Wij zijn zendelinges van de kerk van Jesus Christus, and, and so forth. And I, I had my little sentence memorized. Well, when the people started talking, I would immediately turn and look at my companion and smile because I had no idea whatever that person was saying. And she would talk and I'd just sit and smile and look at each other and uh, not know a word of the conversation. The first day that we'd been out tracting, it had been a long, long day. And it was getting dark and we came to a door and I knocked and, you know, is this going to be the one? Are we finally going to be able to share the message with somebody? And an older gentleman came to the door and I gave my little, we are missionaries of the Church of Jesus Christ and we'd like to share a special message. Said it in Flemish, of course. Well, before I even finished, he reached up and he grabbed my face and he, he looked into my eyes and tears were coming in and he's, come on in, come on in. I, I was thrilled. I was just following him. I could tell in my mind, I thought he'd seen me in a dream. I was so excited. I looked back at my sister, companion sister, Hook, and she didn't look so excited. And I'm like, come on, let's go. Somebody wants to hear our message. Well, he took us in and we sat down at his kitchen table and Sister Hook and this gentleman started talking and I'm just ready for him to accept the gospel. He's seen us in a dream. You know, all we have to do is tell him the basics. But the body language was not there. In fact, as she spoke and she was speaking so timidly, I could tell that this sweet older gentleman was getting really mad. And finally, he stood up and he said, that we needed to go. We needed to get out of his house. I was like, what did she say to him? 
So we get outside and the door slammed and I'm like, Sister Hook, what the heck happened? And she goes, Sister Hassler, he didn't understand a word of what you said. He could tell that you were American and he has a granddaughter living in California that is becoming a nun. He thought, since we said we were Luther's, that she had sent us to him. He was not happy at all to hear that we were missionaries from the Church of Jesus Christ. He didn't see me in a dream.